Hello, this is John Hall from Right Here Pens with another video review. I've um, got a couple of pens, well actually four that I want to show you today, but it's two new series, both of them limited editions from OMAS, and um, one of them very limited indeed, and both of them available now. Um, what we're going to be looking at is the Omas Dama Duet. Sorry to keep looking off sideways. I'm just trying to make sure that everything's in focus. This is uh, the Dharma fountain pen. And this is the ballpoint. There we are. And we'll be comparing them with these, which is the Arte Italiana art series. As you will see, we have a Galoche fountain pen here. Now, we've been working quite hard to get the colours right on this, and I'm not convinced they are. What I'm seeing on my monitor looks like a lightish sort of blue. In fact, this is a very blue-green. Um, it comes in another colour, which is navy blue. And again, I'd say the blue is a bit darker than that in reality. If you have a look at pictures on the web, I think you'll find that by and large they're much more faithfully reproduced than they are on this video. So that's probably worth a look. But anyway, let's get on and have a little word about the pens. So here we are with the OMAS Arte Italia Art Series fountain pen. Um, it's the same size and shape as the classic Milord, but you'll notice Firstly, there's this rather attractive galoche pattern on it. And secondly, there's been some really nice work done around the band. Hopefully you can see that there and see the attention to detail on it. So really nice looking. Um, the other thing that's very different from the Lord is the metal section. And again, the classic OMS style, there's been a lot of very nice work done around the metal, beautiful engraving there, and the nib is of course a classic, absolutely beautiful. The other thing that distinguishes this from virtually all other Milords, apart of course from the celluloid one, is that it is a piston filler. The system we all like best, I suspect. And this one will take significantly more ink than a standard cartridge, so well worth going for. And there are many of us who think that a fountain pen ideally should be a piston filler, if you can afford that. The pen comes in two colours, so we've got this one, and again, um, do bear in mind my concerns about colour reproduction on this video. This is described as teal green, and I would say it certainly is quite a lot greener than it's been on my monitor anyway. I mean, we'll have to have a look and see what happens when it hits YouTube. Um, but it also comes in this very attractive navy blue colour. And as you'll see, the detailing is, again, absolutely beautiful. They've done work on the section here. We've got the classic OMAS O on the top and this of course is a ballpoint and the pen is available as fountain pen ballpoint or mechanical pencil. It's a limited edition they're making 331 fountain pens in teal, 331 in navy and they're making 331 either ballpoints or mechanical pencils, a total of 331 in the navy and in the teal. I think this is really one to go for. I mean, it's a really attractive pen, nice to hold, very nice to hold actually, and a decent sort of weight as well. It's a little heavier, of course, with the piston mechanism in it than the classic Milord fountain pen and very nice feel to it as well. The price for them, well, £270 for the, for the ballpoint or mechanical pencil and 
for the fountain pen. Buy them while stocks last. Of course, with the fountain pen, um, you've got the full range of OMS nibs available.